Good morning from Budapest. This morning we packed all our stuff and we checked out of our Airbnb nice and early at 9 a.m. And then I had the bright idea of going to a local food chain called the Bite Bakery. And we probably had the worst breakfast of our lives. Yeah, we don't like talking about the negative stuff too much. But if you're going to talk about what food is good, you also got to mention the ones that were bad. This was uh, expensive. It was $25 for both of us to just get a coffee. And mine was an omelet sandwich, but it was an omelet and a salad. So anyways, now we're on our way to a bakery that our Airbnb host recommended. New York Cafe Palace. He said the interior is the nicest cafe in the world. So far the breakfast mission continues. No dog allowed inside so we can't sit down and eat and no takeaway. So we're gonna postpone breakfast for now. We'll see if we can make it. So we're now walking on Andresi Avenue modeled after the Paris Champs-Élysées. This runs all the way from the Danube River, Elizabeth Square, all the way to Hero Square which is where we're on our way to now. If you come to Budapest and you're wondering if you can buy a beer and walk with it and drink in public, you can. I looked it up and also everyone is doing it. From what I read online, it's as long as you're not being obnoxious. We're now going to take the metro line, the oldest metro in continental Europe, to Garbo for some tasty pastries. Back up we go. You have to buy your ticket at the Automat, which I thought meant casino. Place to buy our tickets closed because it's Sunday. We could rent bikes. Yeah, with Ember it's a little hard. Yeah, and if we choose to walk to the cafe, it's a 40 minute walk. We want to save some energy because we're doing a hike. We found where to buy tickets. It was right beside it. Ah, oh, it's English. Uh, 50? Can't see. Uh, two? Uh, payment. I know, I can't see from this angle. Can you move? Okay. And print. If it's still my money. I'm trying round two. Is there one dollar ones or no? We're good to go. Good work. Thanks. Let's do this. Probably her favorite public transit system so far. She seems to be completely at ease here. Mm, looks like we're so very tight tunnel here. Not much space between the tram and the wall. Someone's coming. Someone's walking on the tracks right now. Okay. I think the conductor is now checking something. Ah, uh, we're idiots. There was nothing wrong with the tram. It's just we were going to the last stop. So he went from the front of the train to the other side so that he can drive it in the other direction. Makes perfect sense. We don't know much about trains, clearly. We don't know much about anything. That's why we're traveling, we're here to learn. Street education. Hi. Just went to Gerbeau. If you go in there and you go with takeaway, you get 50% off the baked goods. It's actually on each sign that says if you eat in, the price is double. And it's not a cheap bakery. So it's actually ended up pretty good. We got a cake two croissants and some butter to go. If you play your cards right, Amber, you might actually get some croissants. So I don't have much experience with croissants because before coming to Europe, I actually thought that I didn't like them. This croissant right here definitely tastes like it's fresh from today. And on the outside, it's nice and crispy. So it's very flaky and I just dropped my thing just to add to Justin's embarrassment of eating right in front of the restaurant. I just caused quite a terrible scene. Are you pissed? All the pigeons are gonna come. They were already circling us, now we're done. There's a fifth of a croissant in flakes on the ground. I can't control the wind. We have here the Gerbeau birds. They only eat the finest pastries of Hungary. Due to Vejo's croissant incident, we have to move to another seating location as we were getting invaded by pigeons. So we got a new spot to wreck and it's on a nice fountain. Oh shit. You flipped it? No, no, no. It was like this. Yeah. Well, it was nice. So to recap, Vero chose the breakfast place this morning, which was less than stellar. She caused a scene with the pigeons right in front of where we bought this, which is a classy cafe. <laughs> and now our cake, which looked really nice, looks like this because apparently you gotta spin a box 180 before you open it, especially when it has a cake inside. Oops. After our delicious pastry and cake stop, we are going to hike up Gallert 
uphill, well, I don't think it's much of a hike, but we're gonna walk up, which is supposed to have some of the best views of Budapest. That's a perfect day for it, there's not a cloud in the sky. And we get to walk across a different bridge, which is called the Elizabeth Bridge. There's a lot of boats that you can take here on the Danube River. You can either go on sightseeing cruises. There's also boat restaurants. We almost ate at one as part of restaurant week. It was called Spoon the Boat. But we decided not to because you had to book in advance and we didn't really want something scheduled on our first night. There's stairs that go in a lot of different directions, but Amber seems to know where she's going, so we're following her right now. At each landing of the staircase, she waits, and turns her head. <laughs> Apparently you can live on Gallard Hill too. I would love to live here, overlooking the river and the city. This is the Garden of Philosophers. The views are awesome from the Garden of Philosophers. And if you don't want a really busy, crammed viewpoint, this is a good place to come to. Just walking up to a viewpoint. Probably worth it. It's called the Citadella viewpoint. Thank God I have my new shoes for this because, whew. Best view of the city is right by this statue. You get a really good view of both Buddha and Pest. You normally only see one side, but this gives you that horizontal view of both. The fortress that's beside me is called the Citadella. It's on the top of Gallard Hill overlooking Budapest. Although Citadella is the word for citadel, which is a type of fortress, in a lot of other languages, Citadella is used to refer exclusively to this fortress right here. Don't miss the Liberty statue, which is at the end of the fortress. It commemorates those who sacrificed their lives for the independence and freedom of Hungary. Most importantly, for the Soviets liberating Hungary from the Nazis. So the main guy on the statue actually has a Soviet hammer and sickle sash on his head. Biggest statue I've seen in my life. Making our way down Gallard Hill to go check out a church that's built within a natural cave. There's a lot of stuff on this hill. That's a stop for Vero because she has a thing for caves. <laughs> she keeps asking, is there a cave on the way? Is there a cave on the way? Can you go to the Slovenia and see the caves? This behind me are called the Gellert Caves, also known as St. Ivan's Cave. And the reason why it has that name is because it's believed that St. Ivan was a hermit who used the water from the cave to heal people. And it's believed that the same water was used to feed the thermal baths, now called the Gellert Thermal Baths, which are right beside us in the big hotel. Pretty cool, the entire church is built into the cave. An amazing view for lunch. We're sitting at Belvarossi Lucas, highly recommended restaurant behind St. Stephen's Basilica. Because we're sitting right behind the basilica, there's a Lent offer on the menu no meat. Just visited the church. It is so beautiful, and Ember couldn't go in, so Jess and I took some turns. So this brings our Budapest trip to a close. We're about to drive home and hopefully everything goes smoothly at the border. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. Let's do it. So we're now walking on Andresi Avenue, which is known as the... We're now walking on... What's it called again? Boodle -boo. To be edited over horse poop, as I've been directed by our editor-in-chief. Is it my escaping my travel tip? Holy I don't know. It is because of Corona <laughs> Did you get that? Okay. We're crossing on a red light right now. Ooh. Ooh. Breaking my rules. <laughs> we could do for a casino run, actually. No. It's red again. Some of our footage might have us with really red faces. Hopefully, Vero can fix it because we got assaulted by wind all day yesterday for like 10 hours. We were outside. Quite a lot of British people in Budapest. I must say. It must be very close. I don't think we heard any Brits in Zagreb. No, not once. 